We are uh, right now at the beginning of October, coming into the best time of the year to move most species of trees. Um, the ideal time that would signal us is when the trees have no green left in the leaves. Through change in the weather, shorter photo period, um, colder nights, a killing frost, once the green has left your leaves or your trees, it's the best time of the year to dig those up. This happens to be a perfect example of a great tree to plant in this environment, in our local soils. This is a, a white oak. Uh, botanical name is Quercus alba. It is uh, the Illinois state tree. Um, this tree, you'd have to have a location because if you're buying a tree, you really want that type of tree and the location that you select to, to work hand in hand. You know, this particular tree can live well over 100 years and uh, anywhere from 60 to 100 feet tall, 40 to 60 feet wide. So you would need a large location. Um, falls into the native tree category. Uh, natives are often easier to grow. They've already adapted to our environment. Right here we have a wonderful example of a, a native tree that um, is, is becoming more popular. This is in the hawthorn family. This, this is actually called Winter King Hawthorn. It has bright red berries in the winter. As you can see some of these berries are starting to turn. It uh, it has a few small thorns, and that serves for songbird habitat so that the songbirds can build their nests, have winter food, and the predators have uh, more difficulty coming up. So I think it's a great, it's a great plant if you like songbird habitat. And uh, will not. This is a native tree called a service berry. It blooms white in the spring. It produces small berries many years that the, the wildlife uh, like. Great, great local plant, great fall color for a small tree.